It's time again for the Bringing Back Basic Gray collaboration, and this month I decided to focus on Christmas. Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome. It is time for the Bringing Back Basic Gray collaboration for the month of November. This is just a small collaboration I do with my friend Sarah, who's crafting and relaxing, and Kathy, who's Stampin' Cat on Instagram. And each month we pull out our basic gray papers that we have hoarded all these years and play with them and enjoy them. So basic gray does not make paper anymore. They've switched over to fabrics and we, all the three of us found that we all had a love for basic gray back in the day and still had a decent stash. And so we don't necessarily try and use it up every month. We just bring it out and enjoy it. Uh, Sarah is taking this month off, but there is a link in the description box below for Kathy for her Instagram account. So you can see what basic gray papers she used and what she made this month. I didn't have a ton of time, but I just wanted to make some Christmas cards. I've been so focused on craft shows. Like I just needed like some fun, relaxing card making. So I pulled out this basic gray Blitzen collection and this was gifted to me by one of my wonderful subscribers. So thank you. And I've been, I've used bits and pieces of it here and there, but I had a few full sheets left. And if you remember basic gray, like you can tell just from these, like that there was a little bit of kind of grunginess is the best way to describe it. Um, it was like late nineties, early two thousands when, you know, these papers came out. And it, so there's like a little bit of aged vintage, a little bit of grunge, um, but they had really cool colors and designs. And so I have a lot of paper left, but I never really had any good and like basic gray embellishments. And so sometimes for me, it's a struggle to find embellishments that will work with the papers, but was looking through my Christmas embellishment stash and I found a pack of tags, which you will see in a minute, um, that worked like with the blues and the reds. And so I was able to use those. So my next dilemma was trying to figure out what kind of cards that I want to make. So I decided I needed just kind of something simple and relaxing. So I went to my sheet load of cards binder. Uh, Call me crafty owl creates the sheet load of card sketches every month and I love them. So I went back to January of 2022 and I chose this one one because it used three 12 by 12 papers. And that is exactly the number of the full size pattern papers I had left. And two, because it gave me some freedom here in the center that I could use the tags that I wanted to use. So that is what I did. And I will move this out of the way and show you the sketch made nine cards. And so that's what I made. Um, again, there were three patterns, this blue, just kind of swirly snowflakey pattern. There was the paisley that was mostly green and blue, but there was some pops of red, which you'll see throughout. And then I had these circles that had the red, green, white, and blue. And so that kind of at least pulled in more of a Christmas tone. And then these were the tags. They were from Hobby Lobby. They're gift tags. Um, but it just says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. So it was my embellishment and my sentiment all in one, which was awesome. And like I said, the blues worked and the greens are a little off, but the red works. And so I don't think you really noticed the green, but so I have three different versions of cards here. Yes. So each of the patterns I chose is a background and then each has a vertical strip and a horizontal strip. So I just made sure that there were no repeating on the cards. So I have three of this. Um, pattern, sorry, like it's really windy and it's whistling through my window that's right next to me. So I don't know if you can hear that, but and then here's the circles in the background and like the blue strip. And then here is the third where the circle is just the strip. So I got three of each of these and I worked through these pretty quickly, but it was kind of the, the paper therapy that I needed. Um, sometimes 
a lot of times I love being creative and figuring out, you know, even if I'm using sketches, figuring out the designs I want to use and working through like each card individually. But sometimes I just need the creative therapy, but relaxation of taking a sketch like this that makes a bundle of cards and just kind of going through the, the motions and playing with the paper. And it, it did, it was relaxing. It filled the need that I needed to kind of do some paper crafting, but it also, I was able to do it quickly so I could get a video out for you all. So here are my nine Christmas cards. Again, be sure to check the link down below for Kathy who um, is creating on Instagram. And if you would like to play along, you can also use the hashtag in the description. I believe it's bringing back basic gray 2023, something like that. So if you have basic gray paper that you want to pull out and play with um, along with us, please do and be sure to use that hashtag so we can find your projects. Thank you guys so much for your time today and hope you all have a very crafty day.